Yo, welcome back people. Systems, singing success, speech level singing, CVT, four pillars of singing, Tamplin Vocal Academy, whatever, whatever system you want to talk about. I don't like systems. I don't like the amount of weight and importance they put on terminology. Language makes things very vague, typically. They don't put enough emphasis on doing, on just finding muscles and learning to use them, which is all uh, technique really is. Um, this is the, the frustration I'm going through at the minute is, um, you know, we've got some coaches saying, well, you know, this, this terminology is, uh, you know, it's nebulous, it's too abstract, it's this, that, the other. Whilst using terminology themselves, which is just as abstract and just as uh, unspecific as you can get. Um, you, know, you can't criticise the term mix or the term head voice um, as too abstract and too nebulous, which I agree in many ways it is. But you can't make that criticism and then use terminology like the claw or edge or curbing. All these kinds of vague, abstract terms. You have to either say, right, I'm going to abandon terminology and I'm just going to figure out what muscles do I need to use? How do I learn to, to use them? You know, What objective things do I need to learn to coordinate to sing? Start getting away from terminology, start getting away from systems, start getting away from methods altogether and start thinking about sensations and feelings and trying to make students understand the sensations they need to be latching onto, how they separate out different sensations, how they understand how things work in isolation, how things combine and work together to create good singing. Terminology is dead. Terminology is the past. Methods are the past. The revolution is going to be when people start to realise that if you're talking about objective technique, all you're talking about is finding muscles, learning to engage them, learning to use them independently and combine them in interesting and unique ways. Essentially, we're talking about motor skills. Yeah? There's actually a lot of good information out there about developing and learning motor skills that has nothing to do with singing. I suggest that you go out there and do some research on how to develop a good golf swing as an example or uh, how to develop a good forehand in tennis. You'll find a lot of crossover and a lot of interest in ideas that are disconnected from all of the garbage and all of the bullshit that goes along with the uh, with the voice method community, all of the uh, faux debate I would call it that goes along with it. Um, go research things like uh, you know developing a good jump shot in basketball, um, and the the type of principles and things that coaches will recommend people think about when developing motor skills of that nature. The reason I talk about sport specifically is that it is absolutely brutal. It's a meritocracy. Only the fittest survive. So the best ideas are typically much more likely to rise to the top within sport than they are within singing. Because obviously there's a lot of other factors involved in a successful voice coach and a successful singer. Good looks. Money. Frankly, getting on with the right people these kinds of principles. In sport that's less the case. It's somewhat the case, but typically if you're the best, if you win, there's a very good chance that your ideas are more solidified, more concrete, more objective, less emotional. Because sport is brutal. Sport is black and white. You either win or you lose. Singing isn't like that. If you understand how to develop motor skills broadly, you can learn to sing extremely well. But most people don't. One of the reasons I've been able to get good at singing 
is because even though I started with garbage, I learned to master motor skills before I learned to sing. So essentially, even though I had bad habits, and even though I was struggling with my voice, I'd actually mastered the development and understanding of motor skills before I came to singing. One thing I see coaches and singers struggle with is is they are fighting and trying to develop things that are just outside of this basic principle of developing and understanding motor skills. Everything gets wishy-washy, all the terminology does not help them. They can't address the issue, they have to address things near to the issue, symptoms of the issue. If you just look at it as learning motor skills and nothing more, at least from a te technical perspective, you can get all the bullshit out of the way. Now, obviously when we're talking about singing, there's artistry involved, there's musicianship involved. But on this channel, I just talk about making singing easier for people. I don't care about style so much because you go other places, get that. Go, you know, go watch other singers, go watch other coaches talk about it. Go pick a style you like. It's just mimicking. It's not complicated style. What is hard is making singing easy. And there's a lot of coaches out there that aren't leading singers towards making it easy. They might be leading singers towards making it easier, but they're not leading them towards making it as easy as it can be because they aren't thinking in terms of just developing motor skills. They aren't able to separate out technique and motor skills in raw isolation from artistry, musicianship, um, and a desirable sound, frankly. One thing I hear all the time, and I've said it, you know, it's uh, I follow what sounds good. You know, whatever sounds good, that's, that's what must be right. Now there's some truth in this, but unfortunately, the, the thing that's missed in that principle is it's focusing too much on the outcome. It's focusing too much on, on a result rather than focusing on the action. A good result is a symptom of the action or a symptom of the coordination. If you can understand this, then you can understand how you start to build a voice and you can understand why a sound might not be desirable, but functionally it may be healthy and it may be leading you towards singing being easier for you. Once you get to that point, you can start to understand that, oh, this doesn't necessarily sound that good, but it helps me to feel that singing can be easier. I can worry about rounding out the sound later. But if I'm too concerned about the outcome, I'm not concerned enough about what I'm doing. And that's really what I want to get across to people in this video, that you have to be worried more about what you're doing and how it feels especially at first, and especially when you're learning certain things within singing, versus focusing on the outcome. Far too many seat singers and coaches out there are too worried about the outcome too often. This is one thing I deeply respect Brett Manning for, because he brought forward functional teaching. A lot of the exercises that he talks about and developed are purely functional they do not sound nice, but they feel good. I'm going to repeat that again. They're purely functional. They don't necessarily sound nice, but they feel good. Once it feels good and it feels right, you can worry about making small adjustments later. This is like the deepest principles of singing success and SLS. And why, when people get caught up in terminology and caught up in the debate of terminology, in a lot of ways they're missing the very point of SLS and SS, is that speech level singing and singing success don't care that much about terminology. Certainly not like many other methods out there which depend on terminology to pigeonhole everything, to make everything, you know, uh, in boxes and unfortunately,
put in singers in straight jackets because it doesn't develop enough nuance in the sensations and in the understanding. The basic principles behind SS in particular are function before form, are understanding that terminology ain't that important, understanding that the, the debate over terminology ain't that important, and getting back to just experiencing sensations, um, being adventurous in what you're doing, and trying to understand how do I make this easy, how do I coordinate and develop motor skills. Um, outside of that, we obviously have artistry, we obviously have musicianship, but technique, 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 it's just motor skills. If you can't get to this point and you don't agree with this video, then you're wrong. I'll leave you with that, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want my help personally, you can book a one-on-one -on -one training session. Drop me a message. My email is in the description. And if you feel like this message was of value, then please feel free to make a donation equal to that value. Again, donation link is in the description. And finally, please share this video with other singers you know. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in another video. Bye.